CPX grid view can be easily populated with data by binding to any standard data source type, including SQL data source, object data source, XML data source, access data source, and sitemap data source. In this video, you'll see how to bind the ASPX grid view to an ArrayList object, so let's get started. Start by dropping an ASPX grid view onto a blank page. Let's switch to the code behind, so we can add the code that will create an array list and bind the grid to it. First, let's add a new method called createData, which will declare and create a new array list called ds. ds currently contains five entries in array. Let's increase that to 15 so that we can see paging in action. The ASPX grid view will only show the pager if there are more than 10 entries. Don't forget to add a reference to the system.collections assembly. Now we can add the code to the page load method that will bind the grid to the array list. Set the grids data source to the create data method, then add a call to the data bind method. Let's also set the name of the column to product. And we're done. So let's run the application and see how it works. As you can see, the grid is bound to our custom array list. Paging and sorting are also fully supported. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.